here in the gate. And they're off at Saratoga. Our test breaks on top and follow my footsteps right up there as they move for the clubhouse turn. And then it's Yankee Fortune has come out running along in third. Midnight Silver over on the inside is now fourth. Riding on the wall, not on the lead today. He's back racing in fifth position. And then it's 9-0 Wonderful who races along sixth early on here. Followed by Salto, who's well held seventh. Voodoo Storm's also under good restraint. And the last of all is long shot Silver Menace. So the field makes the turn in the back stretch. Our test leads the way. Prompted by follow my footsteps. Room at the rail for Yankee Fortune and goes on through. Yankee Fortune punches through an opening on the inside. Grabs a narrow lead. But right alongside it's follow my footsteps. Our test displaced on the lead. Now back running third with the half mile to go. Midnight Silver over to the inside fourth. Running on the wall is fifth. 9 0 wonderful six. Salto buried down inside. He's back running along in seventh. And then it's Voodoo Storm and Silver Menace as they round the far turn. Follow my footsteps. Follow my footsteps, the leader. Yankee Fortune now takes to the outside second. Midnight Silver down on the fence is third. Our test is fourth on the outside. 9 0 wonderful. And Salto, who's down at the hedge. Voodoo Storm is cut loose late. They're in the final furlong. Follow my steps. 9 0 wonderful. Midnight Silver down on the rail. Trouble late for Salta. Here's the wire. A photo that goes to 9 0 wonderful. And Rosie Dubrovnik over Follow My Footsteps in the opener at the Spa. They're in the gate. And they're off. Jitney breaks on top over on the inside, always in my circle. From the far outside, Kibosh has early speed, and Esther's classy lady is right there as the field moves into the first turn. Always in my circle will be the leader, Jitney, to prompt the pace. Esther's classy lady got caught wide around the first turn, way out there and down toward the inside, fast and strong is third. Esther's classy lady, three wide while fourth. Kibosh is fifth, Dixie Rocks is sixth. Melodramatically very keen to go on and tugs away up to be seventh on the outside. And then it's a New York Philly, steadied in traffic, and she's now eighth. Down toward the inside, you're okay by me. Followed by Megan's Fury at the back of the pack. Urbanology and Kien Esme Papa. And Urbanology is now last after the opening quarter in 23 and 4. Up the backstretch run. Always in my circle. Esther's classy last. And melodramatically has pulled her way up to be third now on the outside. And Kibosh and Dixie Rocks rides the rails into the turn racing in fifth now. Fast and strong is sixth and still caught on the outside. And then it's a New York Philly followed by Megan's Fury. You're okay by me. Jitney Bourbonology now better than 11 lengths from the lead. And a battle up front here as the field makes their way toward the top of the stretch. Melodramatically and then down inside. Always in my circle. And here comes Kibosh. Here comes Kibosh and fast and strong, too. They're coming down to the final furlong. And it is Kibosh with the narrow lead. Always in my circle, battling on bravely. Always in my circle, narrowly. Kibosh fighting her all the way down to the line. They're followed by fast and strong third. Coming down to the finish. And an absolutely determined, always in my circle, would not be denied. Won it by a hard-fought half-length over Kibosh. And then it was fast and strong. Bourbonology came on late for fourth. And they're off. Lignite breaks on top and races to the front. There goes Lignite, opening up a quick early lead here of two and a half lengths. Wine glow on the chase and Kimona's third on the outside. Five lengths back to Liberty Girl running along in fourth. Then Oscar Party toasting and sustained. Lignite blazing the way into the far turn. Lignite out there now by a length and a half as Kimona edges up second on the outside. Down toward the rail, it's Wine Glow racing along in third. Around the far turn, Lignite in control here. Lignite the leader, Joel Rosario riding her very confidently. She's opened up a three length lead and has done it willingly. And then it's Komoda now, second on the outside, followed on the rail by Wineglow, third. Oscar Party is fourth. Top of the stretch. Lignite comes to the eighth pole now, and clear by two and a half lengths. 
Kimono full out second. The others well behind is sustained. Moves to be a distant third. It's still Lignite in front. And Lignite holding on as they come down to the liner. Kimono with the final try. But it will be Lignite and a wire-to-wire -wire score. Three quarters of a length at the end. Kimono close steadily to be second on the line. Sustained was third. Toasting fourth. Race four at the spa. Good luck. And they're off. Ola Pool gets off to a good start. Abide is coming up the inside. Easy Pasture is there. And Soul of Hollywood from the far outside as the field moves up the back stretch run. Ola Pool over to the rail and now with that lead. Soul of Hollywood pressing on the outside. Now running along in second. Abide now back racing in third. There goes book review now and the favorite. The favorite book review up to be third now. And then it's Old to Sammy running along in fourth. Easy Passer is fifth. Abide up close earlier has steadily dropped back to be sixth. And then it's Natalie Victoria at the back of the pack is expression. Ola Pool at the front of the pack. Whips through a quarter in 22 and three-fifths seconds. Ola Pool around the far turn. Leads by two. On the outside, book review now making your move as they round the far turn. Half up in 45 and three-fifths seconds. Ola Pool, book review now second, driving hard a length and a half behind. Old to Sammy comes through an opening down toward the rail. Natalie Victoria fourth. Ola Pool still in front. Book review is full out, but still second at the top of the stretch. Old to Sammy third. Book review and Ola Pool head to head, and it is now book review resting that lead away from Ola Pool. By the back, easy passer and Old to Sammy, and they're coming down to the finish, and book review will get the job done. Wins going away at the end by two and a half lengths over Ula Pool. Easy pass of his third, Ode to Semi was fourth. Six. And they're off. Bad break for distortion. And it's Kawhi Katie racing to the front for the inside post. Lender of last resort out running in second, followed by Charming Becky now running in third, Mercadona fourth on the outside. Two lengths back to Kansas in fifth, then Garmento's girl, Busy Rod in sixth. And that late break puts Distortion six lengths behind the rest of the field, rounding the far turn, chasing Kuai Katie through a 22 and one opening quarter mile. Lender of last resort is on the chase second. Kansas down toward the inside now third. Mercadona hard ridden but back racing in fourth. And Garmento's girl comes to an opening on the inside fifth. As the field turns for home, Kawhi Katie turns it on and opens up now a four length lead. And then it's Kansas down inside second, followed by Linder of Last Resort third. Garmento's girl is fourth. Distortioning having a real adventure today, but no doubt about this winner, Kawhi Katie. Rockets home and won by a dozen lengths on the end. 103 and 3 was the time for that good looking performance by Kuai Katie. Kansas second. Lender of last resort is third. Garmento's girl fourth. Take the that, full, sister. The full huh? sister huh? to Whitey Way who broke his maiden first time out. Well, Kuai Katie comes back and matches that and breaks her maiden. Race six at the spa on TVG. And they're off. From the outside, it's Gospel Lesson racing for that lead. Powhatan County has some early speed, too. Then uh, Powhatan County over on the inside up for a short lead. Gospel Lesson alongside second to Penny races third while saving ground. On the far outside is Versailles Road now moves up a spot into third. The Pan is now back racing along in fourth. And then it's Beckham Ben now running fifth down toward the inside. Unstoppable, or rather presumptive, in hand racing along in sixth. Red Leader is seventh, followed by Unaccountable is now eighth toward the inside. And then alongside that one, it's Day of Destiny, who's near the back of the pack today. And farther back in the field is Best Actor. And the last of all, our Tycoon Cat and Stretch Running Slambino. Up the back stretch run, Gospel Lesson leads the pack. Negotiates a half mile in 48 and one fifth seconds. First sales road right in his hip pocket, runs along in second. Powhatan County moving comfortably. Well reserved there by Ramon Dominguez. Powhatan County is third. And then Tapana. Day of Destiny is advanced now to be within three lengths of the lead. And then in between horses, 
is Red Leader. Also right there, Beckham Ben, who's only about three from the front. Then unaccountable there on the outside. Presumptive Slambino is only six lengths from the lead now as the field turns for home. First sales road fully extended. Tapana coming up on the outside. Beckham Bend looking for a way through. Gospel lesson fights on. Presumptive is eating up the turf now. And here comes Best Actor who's coming with a flying finish on the far outside and Slambino too. Presumptive Best Actor. It's close. It's a photo finish that goes to Presumptive narrowly. Best Actor right there in a tight one. Three-way photo for third among unaccountable Versailles Road, Beckham Bend. Start of the late pick four opening day at Saratoga, and you're watching it on TVG. They're in the gate. And they're off. Conquesta from that far outside post, Cosmic Energy and Colonial Empress, and Gloat. Gloat emerges with the lead as they move for the first turn. Colonial Empress, though, right there with Gloat as they hit the turn with Cosmic Energy on the hedge and running along in third. And Conquesta moves to fourth on the outside. Lynette Lady runs in fifth. Lily the Pink in a little traffic there races sixth. Dynorama seventh on the outside. Opalite and Dun and Love at the back of the pack as Gloat takes the field down the back stretch, accompanied by Colonial Empress. Colonial Empress really on the muscle here. Sean Bridgman trying to harness some of that speed. Then there's a break of three and Cosmic Energy runs along in third. And then together are Len Atlady, who's down on the inside, and Conquesta right alongside her, that duo, about six lengths from the lead with a half mile remaining here. Lily the Pink drafting in behind horses as they move for the turn. Opalite, Dynorama, and Dun and Love. Strong half mile, 47 and three. Gloat, the leader, with three furlongs to go. Load on top, Colonial Empress, right up there. Cosmic Energy swings into action now. Here she comes on the outside, then Conquesta, and Lily the Pink has daylight now, and here comes Lily the Pink roaring down the outside. One furlong to go. Cosmic Energy and Conquesta. Lily the Pink continues to close ground. 16th from home. Cosmic Energy, Conquesta, and Lily the Pink. It is Cosmic Energy. Cosmic Energy, the winner. Three quarters of a length. Lily the Pink was second. Conquesta third and gloat. 2 7 11. The photo for fourth, Cosmic Energy. They're in the gate. And they're off. And Pacific Ocean breaks in stride and quickly opens up a three length lead. And then it's Crossbow who concedes the early lead to Pacific Ocean. Two and a half lengths back to Gold Digger's Boy. And then Jackson Bend is on the outside. Asia Electronica down on the rail. Five lengths to SCOTUS, up the backstretch run. Pacific Ocean sailing along here through a quarter and 23 seconds flat. Very reasonable fraction for this very fast horse. Crossbow continues to sit back. A reserve second is Crossbow. Then Gold Digger's Boy in the clear on the outside third. Kaish Electronic only two and a half lengths from this relatively easy pace. And then Jackson Bend. Jackson Bend is on the outside now as they round the far turn. The half was 46 and 3 fifths seconds. Pacific Ocean down inside. On the outside, Crossbow now moves to him. Those two are... ...on the fence. Jackson Bend on the far outside. And Gold Digger's boy coming into the final furlong. It's still Pacific Ocean narrowly. Crossbow right there on the outside. Kaish Electronica and Gold Digger's boy Inside the final 16th of a mile, it is Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean wins it by two, followed by Gold Digger's Boy, and then Crossbow. Pacific Ocean brilliantly ridden on the front end by Joel Rosario to win the James Marvin. You're watching the feature opening day Saratoga on America's Horse Racing Network, TVG. They're in the gate. And they're off. 
Can't explain. Gets out of there first. Baby J comes up from the inside. Brown Eyes Blue is in between those two. And they're followed by so many ways, sweet Shirley May, and fully living is the early trailer. So it's Baby J who steps out. Baby J out there by two. Brown Eyes Blue second and can't explain. Is third as they move for the far turn. And then sweet Shirley May comes up the inside fourth as they rattle off a 22 and one opening quarter, chasing Baby J. Baby J a length. Can't explain, creeping closer, second on the outside by three. And then farther back there goes so many ways now, rallies up to be third, down toward the inside at Sweet Shirley May. And then fully living, Brown Eyes Blue has dropped off to trail the field. Baby J's won a half mile in 45 and four fifth seconds. Baby J desperately trying to hang in there. Can't explain, keeps on pecking away on the outside so many ways. Those three into the final furlong of the Sky Lavelle. Baby J down inside on the outside so many ways and can't explain. So many ways, can't explain. On the wire, so many ways has won the Sky Lavelle by a length. Can't explain was second. And then Baby J and Fully Living. Seven, four, two, five. So many ways gives trainer Tony Dutro his second victory in the grade three. Has the call. And they're off. Cairo City breaks on top. Quiet value comes up on the inside. Moving on through between horses, it's top position. And top position now pokes ahead in front of Pyro City now running in second. To Dubai third on the outside. Quiet value steadied. Now back and forth. Tough all day is running in fifth. Momentum Vesta race is sixth. Spring Warriors seventh. Roher Yun is now eighth. Way the West ninth toward the inside. Followed by Destiny Song. Five lengths back to the trailer. Running made easy around the far turn through a 21 and four. Opening quarter mile to Dubai. To Dubai. Up for the lead. Top position. A half length behind now in second. Wide value retreats down toward the rail. On the outside, it's tough all day. Then Pyro City. Momentum investors in between horses. To Dubai is kicking away. To Dubai opens up four at the eighth pole. Momentum investor now moves to second. And then way of the west. And on the outside, Spring Warrior comes on late. On the wire to Dubai by a diminishing three quarters of a length. Spring Warrior came with the flying finish. Way of the west was third. Momentum investor fourth. It was the 10 to Dubai to take the 10th and final here giving Tony Dutch.